Hey everybody, it's David. This is going to be the last Cool Worlds video of 2016. After this, we're going to be taking a little break for the holidays. So in this video, I thought that I would just give you a quick look ahead as to what to expect from the Cool Worlds lab in 2017. Myself and three of my students are about to head to Grapevine, Texas for the annual winter meeting of the American Astronomical Society, where all of us will be presenting. This meeting is pretty much the most well-attended astronomy meeting on the planet. In fact, it's so busy that the vast majority of speakers are only given five minutes to present what could be you know, a year of scientific work. So what are us four gonna be talking about at this meeting? Well, first off, I will be talking about the search that we ran here for transits of Proxima b. That's the planet that was announced this year around the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. I've actually already spoken about that here on the Cool Worlds channel, so you guys actually got the first preview. If you wanna go back and hear what I'm gonna say, then you can click here to watch that video. Next up, Cool Worlder Chris Lamb will be telling the AAS meeting about our work here trying to apply neural networks in the search for new exoplanets. That work was literally just published, and if you want to hear about it, then Chris did shoot a Cool Worlds video again. You can click here to hear Chris explain that to you. Now, the next two Cool Worlders, Emily Sanford and Alex Tichy, will be telling the AAS meeting about work which is yet to be published. So this is brand new stuff. Now, I don't want to steal their thunder and give away their projects, because both of them actually will be shooting a Cool Worlds video to explain to you why their projects are so exciting and what they did, but let me give you a little tease. In Emily's case, there is this conventional wisdom that know the star, know the planet. You can only know the planets as well as you know the stars. She actually flips that round and says that the planets themselves can be used to understand the stars better. Alex will be presenting preliminary results from our latest ExoMoon survey paper. So that's coming out of the Hunt for ExoMoons with Kepler project. That work is an absolute colossus. We've been working on it for about two and a half years now. And you can expect that we will have a sensitivity down to Galilean-sized moons. I mean, this is far greater than that which we had before. So that's what we will be presenting at the meeting. And as I said, we'll give you an update here on the Cool Woods channel about those new projects. But of course, in 2017, we will also be working on completely brand new projects. I don't want to give the game away too much on those, but again, I'm going to give you a little tease as to what to expect. We're working on some pretty big problems in the field over the next year such as can we measure the orbital period of exoplanets where we only see a single transit? Can we measure the signal of reflected light off even small exoplanets? We're working on an awesome new technique that we think can glean surface features of exoplanets. We're gonna be applying a brand new way to understand the most mysterious star in the universe, Tabby's star. We're gonna be quantifying the occurrence rate of exomoons around exoplanets. And perhaps most provocatively, I'm also thinking about whether we can quantify the probability for the origin of life itself. So that gives you a taste of what we're going to be working on in the new year. I think a common theme is that we're trying to push on multiple frontiers and really advance those boundaries. So thanks for watching this video and thank you for all of you who've supported this channel over the last year, even if you've just recently subscribed. To be honest, I'm pretty happy and satisfied just to be able to share my passion for exoplanets to just a few of you. But the fact that so many of you have subscribed over the last year is really humbling, so a huge thank you for that. So have a great break over the holidays. We will be back here in January and we'll be giving you an update about some of these new exciting projects here at the Cool Worlds Lab. So until next time, stay thoughtful and stay curious.